I've been coaching uh, for a long time. And you don't get in the top 25 because you're a mediocre team. Uh, very talented uh, basketball team. And we, you know, we knew that coming in. Uh, you know, we were hoping, you know, to keep it uh, respectable. And I thought the first half, other than turning the ball over, we did a pretty decent job. Um, and then the second half, um, you know, their, their size, their strength, their speed, um, you know, took over there at the beginning, and they got a lot of easy, easy baskets, uh, mainly layups. And, you know, we knew it was going to be tough, uh, but I was proud that we, I didn't feel like we quit. We continued to play hard uh, to the final buzzer. <clears throat> How much of a silver lining is it that you out rebound? <laughs> well, when they shoot 60% the second half, I don't know what they exactly shot. Uh, there's not a lot of re offensive boards for them to get. Uh, but, you know, that's the one thing. Once we get into conference play, I feel like we'll, that'll be one of our strengths uh, is, is rebounding. Uh, but we got to make, uh, make a few more shots. Uh, we didn't uh, score the basketball well at all, but, you know, that has something to do with their defense, of course. Um, you know, we're, we're young, um, and we're going to grow, and we're going we're to get better. When you play games like this, what's the best thing it does for you getting ready to go into college? Well, you know, <clears throat> the reason we schedule these games is just the opportunity to hopefully get better and learn. Uh, you know, learn that we can't make the uh, long passes against, you know, a, a long athletic team, uh, and we've got to do a better job taking care of the basketball. Uh, but right now, <clears throat> we just have a hard time you know, the last couple of games uh, scoring the basketball. Uh, so, you know, it's still break. Uh, school's not in. You know, we spend a lot of time in the gym and hopefully uh, correct that. Hopefully the force is rough and crap. Mm -hmm. Not that she's healthy. Uh, yeah, we was hoping she's still dead. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You never want anybody hurt. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's a tremendous player. She's a very gifted uh, gifted athlete. And, you know, she took over there for a while. She was smart enough uh, to take advantage of our lack of size, uh, you know, defending her. Uh, but yeah, she's a really, really uh, nice player. They extended the court to trap you guys early. What, what's the toughest thing to play against the defense that North Carolina has executed? Is it their efficiency of movement? Is it their length? Is it all of it. Well, I think it's uh, you know pretty much a combination. Uh, you know, I felt like <clears throat> the full court press it didn't hurt us. Don't get me wrong, but their their half court trap uh, you know really threw us um, threw us off. Uh, and you know the, we haven't really seen uh, that yet. Uh, so so you know, it, it is a combination. You know their their strength, their size, their leg, their athleticism. They are just tenacious. And, you know, they they fall and they fall all the way. You know, and they could have kind of eased up um, once they got the big big lead, but they did. They kept playing hard, and that's what that's what you got to do. Which your players' efforts impressed you the most? Right? Uh, excuse of me. your players, which of their efforts, whose efforts impressed you the most? Right? Uh, probably bowling, Kara Bowling. I thought she gave us some good minutes. Um, you know, off the bench. Um, was disappointed. Uh, and our big kid, uh, kid that we just got eligible, uh, she did not play well. She hustled. She took two charges uh, out there for us. But uh, I would say if I had to, it would be Kara Bowling. 